As powders and applications become more sophisticated and expensive, the industry now has an increasing need for contamination-free and highly accurate feed rates. Vast experience in feeding and metering, technical expertise and extensive test facilities enable WAM to meet almost any requirement of the industry. The result is a micro-batch feeder that is highly efficient and easy to clean. In addition, it offers an outstanding price-performance ratio. During the research stage, Experiments were conducted on the use of composite materials, focusing particularly on combinations of steel and engineering polymers. These materials feature excellent mechanical properties and make it possible to obtain a smooth surface that resists abrasion and corrosion. The geometry of the body was developed after numerous tests regarding product flow and the relative induced stresses. Studies were also conducted into metering tool geometry and material resulting in the final choice of an optimal steel and engineering polymer composite thanks to the properties mentioned earlier. The three available sizes offer the following range of flow rates in relation to tool speed. MBW series micro-batch feeders designed to deliver powder and granular products are particularly efficient in handling low flowability powders with a tendency to amass as well as adhesive products. The type of metering tool must be chosen on the basis of product particle size. For example, fine heavy materials call for tapered screws with reduced pitch flights, while granular lighter weight materials require standard pitch cylindrical tools. Low flowability products with cohesion and amassing problems may also require the use of accessories, including pneumatic activator that imparts vibratory motion to internal parts of the batch feeder to achieve homogeneous feed from the metering tool. Circular hopper with agitators to ensure correct feed for the metering tool by pre-blending of the product. MBW series micro-batch feeders can be supplied in food grade versions on request. Some application examples. Packaging, powdered milk, dehydrated spinach powder, animal feeds, calcium carbonate, supplements, construction, additives for mortars and plasters, lime, pigments, plastics, PVC, air purification, hydrated lime, wastewater treatment, polyelectrolytes, zeolites, iron sulfide. The main innovative features of the MBW feeder are non-stick trough, trough being flexible during operation, easy to clean, wide range of metering tools made from the polymer composites Syntex or Syntal, the latter being FDA certified. Quick replacement of metering tool. Body end plates made from stainless steel 304. Wear parts of MBW micro batch feeders are easily replaceable. Dust seals with incorporated multiple rings for application to the metering shaft are separate from the body and can therefore be changed quickly and easily. Internal walls are designed with different angles and shapes to facilitate the flow of even the most difficult products. Offset metering pipe. Minimum clearance between screw flight and metering pipe to ensure high precision metering. Cavity for injection of compressed air to improve self-cleaning of the walls. Vertical outlet pipe to channel the product flow. The outlet can be equipped with a flexible hose provided the weight is not supported by the external structure. Pneumatic activator supplies air through the feeder cavities to ensure free movement of the walls and therefore unimpeded product flow. The airflow can be controlled by a solenoid valve or a pneumatic pulse. Feeding hopper increases storage capacity. 
can be equipped with internal agitator for difficult products. Replacement of the metering tool. Remove the bolt from the rear of the drive unit using a 13 mm wrench. Then disengage the metering tool using a 5 mm diameter screwdriver and a mallet. Before fitting a new metering tool, clean all mating surfaces and contact parts such as the feeder trough and the drive mount. During this phase, remove the drive peril key as shown. The unit is now ready to receive a new metering tool. Ensure the two keyways are perfectly aligned. Insert the parallel key. Fit and tighten the bolt. Renewing the seal. A separate dust seal is among the innovative features of this unit. To disassemble the seal, remove the metering tool as described earlier. Remove the bolt using a 17 mm wrench. Disassemble and renew the seal taking care to position one of the three lobes facing upwards. Reassemble the fixing plate and the metering tool.